Greetings family, how are you? This is Bob Onk and I wanted to come to you and share some enlightening information that I came across. Um, I always want to share and enlighten you as you enlighten me. Um, and this is about two passages from ancient times. One is called the Lament of Tehuti, which was derived, or I should say, given uh, around the turn, uh, turn of the last millennia. And it was called the uh, Hermes, the Lament of Hermes, but we all know that Hermes was Tehuti. And the second one, I have him here on my computer here, was uh, the uh, Piranhas. It was a fall of the Harappan civilization. So I'm going to read them to you and discuss briefly what I think they mean. <clears throat> and uh, of course we know Egypt is Kemet, but I'm going to use the Kemetic words. Lament of Tehuti. Do you know, Imhotep, that Kemet is an image of heaven? Or to speak more exactly, in Kemet, all the operations of the powers which rule and work in heaven are present in the earth below? In fact, it should be said that the whole cosmos dwells in this, our land, in a sanctuary. And yet, since it is fitting that wise men should have knowledge of all events before they come to pass, you must not be left in ignorance of what I would now tell you. There will come a time when it will have been in vain that the Kemites honored the Godhead with heartfelt piety and service, and all our holy worship will be fruitless and ineffectual. The gods will return from earth to heaven. Kemet will be forsaken, and the land which was once the home of religion, will be left desolate, bereft of the presence of its deities. O oh, Kemet, Kemet, of thy religion nothing will remain but an empty tale, which thine own children in time to come will not believe. Nothing will be left but graven images and words cut in stone, and only the stones will tell of your faithful works and the Scythians or the Persians or some such neighbor barbarian or Arab will dwell in Kemet. And in that day, men will be weary of life and they will cease to think the universe worthy of reverent wonder and worship. They will no longer love the world around us. This incomparable work of God, this glorious structure which he has built, this sum of good made of many diverse forms, this instrument whereby the will of God operates in that which he was made, ungrudgingly favoring man's welfare, this combination and accumulation of all the manifold things that call forth veneration, praise, and love of the beholder. <clears throat> Darkness will be preferred to light, and death will be thought more profitable than life. No one will raise his eyes to heaven. The pious will be deemed insane, the impious, impious wise. The madman will be thought a brave man, and the wicked will be esteemed as good. As for the soul and the belief that it is immortal by nature or may hope to attain to immortality, as I have taught you, all of this will be mocked and even persuade themselves that it is false. No word of reverence or piety, no utterance worthy of heaven will be heard or believed. And so the gods will depart from mankind, a grievous thing, and only evil 
angels will remain, who will mingle with men and drive the poor wretches into all manner of reckless crime, into wars, robberies, and frauds, and all things hostile to the nature of the soul. Then will, then will the earth tremble, and the sea bear no ships. Heaven will not support the stars in their orbits. All voices of the gods will be forced into silence. The fruits of the earth will rot. The soil will turn barren, and the very air will sicken with sullen stagnation. All things will be disordered and awry. All good will disappear. But when all this has befallen, Imhotep, then God, the creator of all things, will look on that which has come to pass and will stop the disorder by the counterforce of his will, which is the good. He will call back to the right path those who have gone astray. He will cleanse the world of evil, washing it away with floods, burning it out with the fiercest fire, and expelling it with war and pestilence. And thus he will bring back this world to its former aspect, so that the cosmos will once more be deemed worthy of worship and wondering, wondering reverence. And God, the maker and maintainer of the mighty fabric, will be adored by men of that day with continuous songs of praise and blessings, such as the new birth of the cosmos. It is a making again of all things good, a holy and awe-inspiring restoration of all nature. And it is wrought inside the process of time by the eternal will of the Creator. I found this passage to be very interesting. In fact, it speaks to this time today. Uh, we haven't had him come back yet, the Creator, but it seems like his time is close. And I want to also point, bring to uh, your attention a passage from the Puranas. This was around 1400 BC that this one was written from the Harappan civilization, it is thought. It speaks of, uh, I, I received these passages uh, in my different studies. If you want, just leave a message below and I'll leave them in the show notes. But uh, I'll read it now. The barbarians will be masters of the banks of the Indus. There will be contemporary monarchs reigning over the earth. Kings of churlish spirit violent temper and ever addicted to falsehood and wickedness they will inflict death on women children and cows and i take that cow to mean environment they will seize upon the property of their subjects and be intent upon the wives of others they will be of unlimited power their lives will be short their desires insatiable People of various countries intermingling with them will follow their example. And the barbarians being powerful in the patronage of their princes, while the purer tribes of the earth are neglected. Wealth and piety will decrease, spiritual wealth and piety will decrease until the world will be wholly depraved. Property alone will confer rank. Wealth, material wealth, will be the only source of devotion. Passion will be the sole bond of union between the sexes. Falsehood will be the only means of success in litigation. And women will be objects merely of sensual gratification. The external type will be the only distinction of the several orders of life. A man of rich will be reputed poor. Dishonesty will be the universal, excuse me, dishonesty will be the universal means of subsistence. Uh, weakness, the cause of dependence, menace, and presumption, presumptive presumption, will be substituted for learning. 
liberality will be devotion. He who is the strongest will reign. The people unable to bear the heavy burden of taxes will take re refuge among the valleys. Thus, in the Kali age, will decay constantly proceed until the human race approaches its annihilation. When the close of the Kali age shall be night, a portion of that divine being which exists of its own spiritual nature shall descend on the earth. They will reestablish righteousness on earth. The men who are thus charged shall be the seeds of human beings and shall give birth to a race who shall follow the laws of the Krita age, the age of purity. So what these two passages, one from Kimin and one from India, the Rapin area, I believe, speak to the time it appears to me now. Uh, a time of darkness, a time of materialism, and a time of utter barbarity. But take heart, there is a creator, and he is coming back, and he will uh, move us from this age of iron, this uh, Kali Yuga age, age of darkness, material, materialism, and the like, back into the age of the golden times, uh, and we'll be released from these beings that are currently in power but do not wait for that you still have to fight so keep fighting keep improving yourself and keep learning but i wanted to let you know that our ancestors are with us they knew this time was coming and they prophesized it and it's just good to know that our spirit and our people are so profound that this is just the cycle we're going through this cycle of darkness and once this darkness is over, we will wake up from this nightmare and resume our positions in the cosmos. But once again, we have to fight now, and that's why I'm putting this information out there now. And this is Baba Ankh, and I thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, please put them down below. And I will close this out now. Thank you.